Hi everyone, here we are with the back nine for Rookie Division weekend round playthrough of holes 10 to 18. As always, true rookie clubs only. Don't forget to hit thumbs up if you're enjoying the content. Good luck in the weekend rounds. Let's go starting with hole number 10. Uh, we have crosswind here, so we can just use a katana with extra mile level 6. Lower levels, you might want to use a titan just to give you a few more yards. Four and a half bars, top spin. Two bars, side spin to the right. Adjustment as before, max plus 10, no need to do any pushing up. Just going to take our shot, we're just going to use a bit of right curl, right edge of the ball, touching the outside of the ring to the right. Mine are great right, but still going to be okay. We bounce on the island and just clip the rough and roll out towards the fringe for a nice wedge. Hole 11, we have tailwind here. We're going to be very close to minimum distance of the big topper. Uh, we can use a quasar, which will help us, to be honest here, but I stuck with a katana. Max top spin, one bar, bar side spin to the right. And I do try and adjust here, but I do go into wood club range. So I just abandon that attempt, because I don't want to be using the big dog. Then uh, I set up a little bit further towards the rough, so a bit of the red ring in the rough, but I don't want to push it any more than that. Just go to big dog range, but manage to flick back to big topper. If you do that, you can go with a fraction of under power, as I do here, but only a fraction. But look where we land. We're still actually perfectly okay. We're not risking the rough, to be honest, so uh, it, it's not too bad. Bounce over there. The top spin uh, takes us very, very nicely down the fairway. Second shot, big dog for the distance and top spin. <clears throat> Six bars top spin, three bar side spin to the right. And as before, we're just going to use right curl to bring us in very nicely to the green. So three quarters of the ball outside the ring to the right is what I'm using here. Hitting perfect. And once again, the top spin will take us very nicely towards the fringe. Okay, could have gone with a bit more curl, but that's absolutely fine. We're not going to miss that wedge for an eagle. Hole number 12, going with the Guardian this time. And I'm playing mid plus 10. Max backspin with the Guardian level 4. If you have a higher level Guardian, go with full backspin. And aim a little bit further onto the green. But here I'm deliberately wanting that um, really high second bounce to try and uh, get a drop here. Uh, so, mid plus 10 is the adjustment. A little bit of right spin as well to take us into the hole. And we do hit perfect. And we nearly get this one in uh, another day. That may well have gone in, but it's still very, very close. Hole 13, cross headwind this time going with a katana aiming in the center of the fairway pad I backed off a few yards so that I can adjust max plus 10 is the adjustment just check so I'm going to push back up to max and then going with full curl with the extra mile level 6 which is as you could see there in the video and we're hitting very nicely bouncing over there and rolling Rolling along the fairway, and again, we're setting ourselves up for a very good chance with the thorn. So here, almost at max distance, but not quite. So what I do here, I apply some backspin, two bars, and I'm aiming in line with the pin, but obviously got to leave my ball guide short because it is not a fully developed ball guide. Adjustment here, I go max distance, 10% elevation, minus 0.1 because we're not quite at max, so I do take away 0.1. And in this instance, that is the correct thing to do. And you'll see here, we do hit perfect, bounces nicely, and rolls straight in there, just the left side. But still, they all count, it's an eagle on hole 13. Hole number 14, once again, just a marlin is fine here with the backbone, and going with Almost one bar of side spin to the left, along with almost three bars of backspin. Tricky thing here is just finding this position, though, because you can see moving left or right, it does alter the angle of the shot quite a lot. And that's because of the design of the fairway. 
The adjustment I do here is max distance, 10% elevation. Max plus 10, I push the rings just to make it a little bit easier so that we can adjust accurately. Perfect away. And we're close on this one, just a little bit of a tweak, less backspin definitely needed, and maybe that full bar of left spin will bring that in very nicely. Hole 15, we can get away with the Titan here. Four bars of top spin, setting up just before the plus yardage on the extra mile level six. Half the red ring inside the rough on the left. Adjustment, mid distance plus 20% for elevation. Medium distance, 20%. and then going to apply some left curl. Left edge of the ball just touching the outside of the adjustment ring to the left. And we bounce very nicely here and we want to get a bit of a better roll out here. Anywhere around these shadows is good. So we are looking for 330 yards, which we get. Big dog for the second shot and hopefully you've got a good drive distance. If not, you may need to adjust, adjust here and push up to max. So just see how you go when you've done your drive. Half a bar of top spin, two bars side spin to the left and we just want a rough bump this one out to the green. Adjustment here is max plus 10. Once I'm done I'm pushing up to max. I do not want to be adjusting off the edge of the cliff as that will ruin our chances of an eagle on this shot. We do hit a minor great right but it's still going to be okay. Plenty of rough to aim at as you can see, we could have pushed up or gone with a tiny bit of overpower, but we make it onto the green for an eagle putt. Okay, hole number 16, final par 3, going with the backbone and a quasar. Uh, backspin and left spin. We just need to change either the landing position slightly left or do more adjustment here. The choice is yours. But I'm looking at the position of the red ring with the backbone level 8. It's kind of boxed in to the rough on the left and the right. I adjust max plus 20. I do feel max plus 25 would have been more appropriate because look at this, we hit a perfect ball, bounces nicely in the center of the fairway, but just misses to the right. Maybe a smidge less backspin as well, but very close, something for you to work with on hole 16. Hole 17, once again, going with the Marlin and the extra mile. Blue ring touching the rough on the left hand side. Four and a half bars top spin, one bar side spin to the right, adjusting max plus 10, and do not push up to max, we can just leave it where it is. Second shot here going again with the backbone. The adjustment I would like you to go with here is max plus 15. You will see here in the video I went with max plus 10, which was not enough. Couple of bars of backspin as before. Even though we're not quite at max distance, I'm still using max numbers because we do have crosswind, which is gonna affect the trajectory of the ball a little bit more. So I would like you to go max plus 15. Sadly, we also hit a great left, but as you can see, we are kind of missing not as much as I would think we would with a great left, missing fairly close. So that's why I believe max plus 15 would be more appropriate. Final hole, I'm actually going with a quasar here, to be honest. Four and a half top spin, two bars side spin to the left. I don't think we need to waste a power two or power three ball. Max plus 10 is the adjustment. But once I've adjusted, I am going to push back up to max with the extra mile level 6. And you'll see the tailwind that we have here will push us nicely down the fairway. A little bit of curl to the left as well. And we bounce and run along very nicely, just rolling down the middle of the fairway. So that is absolutely fine and risk-free. And then we're going to go with sniper second shot. I think, though, really we should be going with the Viper because my level of sniper with three bars of backspin is not enough really for this shot. And if I back up too much, I'm not going to have room to adjust. 
So I like my landing position, but I would really go with the Viper or the Guardian here. Anything that gives you more than three bars of backspin. I adjust mid distance plus 10. Sadly, as I usually do, hit a bad great right on the last shot of the day. So we are going to miss this to the right, but look, it is coming a little bit um, on the hot side. We've only just got enough backspin there. So that would be my suggestion. Good luck, guys. See you soon. Bye for now.